So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Google our broker, Admiral Markets, and we're going to click on this link. We're going to go to Platforms in the tab section and MetaTrader 4. After this page is loaded, you simply enter your email address and click Download Now. It will automatically start to load. If you click Downloads, you can see it loading. So after it's finished loading, we're going to go ahead and click on it. So now that we've gotten to this stage, we want to go ahead and click on MetaTrader for Admiral Markets and drag it into the Applications folder. It's going to load, and when it's finished loading, we're going to click on the Applications folder. So after we've clicked on Applications folder, we're going to see MetaTrader for Admiral Markets right here, and this is the logo. We're going to double click on this. After you double click, you're going to see this box pop up. We're going to go ahead and click open. So there you have it guys, you've downloaded Metaphor Trader. If you want to add a specific broker, you can click add new broker, like broker name or address. In this case, we're going to look up Tallinex and click scan. So after that's loaded, you can either click Tallinex demo or live. In this case, I'm going to click Demo and Next. We're going to open a new demo, so Next again. After you've been relocated to Tallinex's website, you're going to want to fill in your personal information. Click I agree to the term, enter in a code, and submit application. After you've completed that form, you are going to be given your Tallinex demo login information and password. So. Okay. After you've been given your details, you're going to go back to MetaTrader 4 and enter this information and click login. Incoming mail. And there you have it. That's basically it, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.
action. In order to add indicators to our MT4 platform on a Mac, we want to go ahead and go to our bottom left hand corner and click on Finder. After we've clicked on Finder, we want to go to Applications. In Applications, we're going to look for our broker. In this case, mine is Admiral Markets. We're going to right click and click on Show Package Contents. After we've done that, we want to go ahead and click on Drive C, Program Files, Metaphor, let me start because I said it wrong, MetaTrader 4, Admiral Markets, or in your case, whichever broker you have chosen. MQL4 and we're going to click indicators. Today I'm going to be adding a session open indicator. You can locate it on your desktop and just simply drag it into this folder. We're going to go ahead and back out of it. Should I talk about expert advisors that you could add in here too? Oh, I didn't really need to know that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to tell you about the indicator for right now. Okay. Take that bullet right there. That's the first time it's ever flowed so smoothly, okay? Because every time I do it, I never even remember what I did. Okay, action. So after we've exited indicators, we want to go ahead and close our MT4 platforms if we have them open. You can do this by right-clicking on your broker and clicking quit. I just go ahead and do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Should I start back up with it reopened or do I have to click on it? Yeah, just click on it to reopen. Ready? After we've closed and reopened our meta. Again. After we've closed and reopened our meta T4. Is it meta T4? Whatever. Oh, who taught me the wrong thing? But again. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's meta. Meta trader. Okay. Oh, you said M. Wait. A method T4. Oh my gosh. Okay. After we've closed and reopened our MetaTrader 4, we're going to go to Insert in the tab section. Scroll down to Indicators. And in Indicators, we want to scroll all the way down to Custom. And when I scroll down, I can see that my indicator is loaded in the list of custom indicators. And I want to just go ahead and click on that. And press OK. If we go down to a smaller time frame, we can see that my indicator has loaded.
What, what, what more do you want me to say? <laughs> That's it. And that's it. Thanks for, Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe.